There are a variety of supplements available that are designed to nourish the lungs. You can get these in supplement form or via lifestyle and diet. Naturally obtained vitamins and minerals tend to work the best and have very few side effects. But if you're not in a position to do this, supplements are fine. Let's look at which vitamins, minerals, supplements, and foods can benefit your lungs. 1. Vitamin E Vitamin E is found in sunflower and olive oils as well as peanut butter and spinach. It may have a preventative effect on lung problems such as chronic obstructive pulmonary disease COPD. However, it's worth noting that an overdose of vitamin E can be dangerous for anyone who takes blood thinners. If you're not sure whether you should take vitamin E, speak to your medical advisor first. 2. Vitamin C Vitamin C is a well-known water-soluble supplement in the healthcare world, with a host of uses around the body. Research has found that this vitamin fights off free radicals as well as working as an anti-inflammatory. It also boosts immunity and may help to protect lung tissue during viral infections. Vitamin C also helps to promote collagen production. Collagen is essential to strong, supple tissue, especially in the lungs. When the lungs are infected, damage can be caused. Even after recovery, this can leave scar tissue. This scar tissue doesn't stretch or adjust itself, restricting the lung's capability. Plenty of vitamin C is essential while fighting off a lung infection to prevent permanent scarring and subsequent damage. Most fruits and vegetables are rich in vitamin C. 3. Vitamin D Vitamin D is a vitamin that can't be obtained by diet. It's created during a process in the body when the sun shines on the skin. Depending on where you live, vitamin D deficiencies can be rare or common. However, simply getting a bit of sun isn't enough to produce vitamin D. The vitamin must then be activated in the kidneys or in the lungs. The lungs also have a way to activate vitamin D because this vitamin is essential to proper lung function. Low levels of vitamin D have been linked to poor lung health as well as issues such as asthma. If you feel that you aren't getting enough vitamin D, you may want to consider taking vitamin D supplements. Seeing a doctor for medical advice and diagnosis may help you to establish whether you have a deficiency, and if so, how bad the deficiency is. 4. Vitamin A Vitamin A is another crucial vitamin for a healthy body. According to research, it helps wounds to heal, promotes good cellular growth and tissue repair, and aids good vision. It also boosts the immune system and nourishes the lungs, supporting the natural repair of lung tissue. Vitamin A deficiencies can cause serious lung problems. A lack of vitamin A can increase asthma symptoms and cause bronchial spasms, as well as slowing down tissue repair. However, be sure to consult a doctor before adding a vitamin A supplement to your diet. Since vitamin A toxicity can cause serious health problems, your best bet is to get vitamin A through your diet. It can be found in foods like cod liver oil, fish, meat, dairy, poultry, and other animal products. 5. Nitric Oxide Nitric oxide promotes blood flow, nourishing the blood. It promotes good tissue repair, boosting the immune system, and helping to heal wounds faster. It can also work to reduce the chances of lung blood clots. Nitric oxide is an important substance for people suffering from asthma. Fermented food is rich in nitric oxide, as well as cabbage, garlic, fennel, and onion. 6. Glutathione Glutathione is another treatment that can ease the symptoms of asthma. Glutathione is a natural antioxidant and a powerful anti-inflammatory. Inflammation can be a serious problem in the respiratory system, narrowing the airways. This can be an issue with infection or for an asthma sufferer, or even simply if you're dealing with cold symptoms. Glutathione may help to filter out toxins that we breathe in through the air. Glutathione can be found in asparagus, avocado, Brussels sprouts, walnuts, and more. 7. L-Arginine L-Arginine works well with nitrates. It can boost nitric oxide levels, helping to enhance the heart and promote good circulation. This treatment also boosts the immune system, which works to nourish the respiratory system. You can find L-Arginine in nuts, brown rice, oats, chocolate, and more. 8. L-Citrulline L-Citrulline is a naturally occurring amino acid found in foods like pumpkins, cucumbers, watermelons, and gourds. It's also produced naturally in the body, just like L-Arginine. This amino acid works to enhance nitric oxide, nourishing and boosting your whole body as well as your lungs. Unfortunately, all the supplements and treatment options in the world won't make up for a poor diet and bad lifestyle choices. 
It's best to get the minerals and vitamins stated in this video from your food, and this means eating a healthful, balanced diet. There are also other things you should consider, which can ease some symptoms of poor lung health and keep your lungs healthier for longer. 1. Quit smoking The absolute best thing you can do for your respiratory system is to stop smoking. The chemicals in nicotine and cigarettes clog up the lungs, creating a thick, tar-like film on the inside of your airways. This can lead to the well-known smoker's cough along with the miasma of bad smells and skin discoloration. Smoking is often, but not always, the root cause of cancers of the lung, mouth, throat, and more, as well as COPD and other chronic lung health issues. People with COPD may be medically advised to quit smoking. 2. Breathe clean air Breathing clean, fresh air free of toxins is crucial to good lung health. Depending on where you live, it may be difficult to breathe clean air, However, it's important to avoid secondhand smoke where you can. Smoke can clog up the respiratory system just as badly as if you were the person smoking. While most public places do not permit smoking indoors, beware of being around people at home or work who smoke frequently. Your lungs will get damaged as well as theirs, and any existing lung health problems will get worse. 3. Stay well hydrated Just like all your other organs, proper hydration is crucial to good lung health. People with COPD, asthma, or other lung function issues should make sure they're well hydrated every day. Water flushes toxins from our bodies, nourishes our tissues, and keeps us healthy. 4. Eat a healthy diet While supplements can work very well for people with COPD who can't get enough vitamins in their diet, it's best to get our vitamins and minerals through our food. Junk food and food that tie in carbs and sugar might be tasty but they often carry little to no nutritional value. Fruits, vegetables, grains, dairy, meat, poultry, oily fish, and healthful fats all carry vitamins that are vital to good lung function and better health and wellness. While a good diet doesn't remove the risk of developing lung function problems or COPD in later life, it may reduce your risk. If you're already suffering from COPD or some other lung problem, eating a good diet and living a healthy lifestyle can improve your quality of life. 5. Foods for Healthy Lung Function Certain foods are better for lung nourishment, particularly healthful, nutrient-rich foods that you can add to your diet include pumpkin, apples, beets, tomatoes, blueberries, green tea, nuts, oats, red cabbage, fermented foods such as beets and cabbage, oily fish, dairy, lentils, and dark leafy greens. As well as this, fruits and vegetables and whole grains are always an excellent addition to any diet. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you want more natural-based remedies, then check out The Lost Book of Remedies. It's a hugely popular book on the healing power of plant medicine. And you can check our review or watch a video explaining more about the book by clicking on the link within this screen or in the description below. You won't be disappointed.